I don't think I have to blow this slide up anymore for you to recognize it as being lung. You can see a lot of air spaces in here. But you can also see that about a third of this field, you have these nodular, pink, fairly round structures uh, within the lung parenchyma as well. And in addition, there's a little bit of anthracotic pigmentation around them. But for the most part, they look like granulomas, don't they? Uh, and if you were asked, is that a necrotic tissue inside or in the middle of the granuloma, or is it fibrous tissue? You would know the answer. You would know this is fibrous tissue because you could see the outlines of cells and you could see it still has some kind of texture to it. This is scar tissue. This is old hyalinized granulomas. Let's go to another one. See, you can still make out the fact that there are some cells within here, fibroblasts, and it doesn't have that granular consistency like you would see with necrotic uh, tissue. Here's another one. And you can see that all these are either fibroblasts or perhaps histiocytes with a little bit of uh, anthracotic pigment in with them. And you can still make it out very nicely. So these are granulomas in which the central portion is fibrosed or healed uh, rather than freshly necrotic. And for this reason, these are called healed granulomas. They are also called inactive granulomas. It doesn't look as though we can find too many uh, multinucleated giant cells inside of these granulomas. Oh, I bet if you looked, you might find a couple. But for the most part, you could say this is a granuloma. The central portion is dense fibrous connective tissue. There's a little bit of macrophages and maybe lymphocytes towards the periphery. The macrophages appear to have its normal anthracotic degree of pigmentation like you see in the lung. You could say the intervening lung has nice thin alveoli. And, and if in some areas it looks like some of these alveoli are perhaps over distended or perhaps ruptured, if you would like to use the word emphysematous change just as an adjective emphysema like here rather than a diagnosis, that would be okay too. This is the way the lungs frequently react to a disease, an occupational exposure disease called silicosis. Okay, these granulomas are hypersensitized in reaction to the silicon dust particles uh, present uh, that many occupational workers were exposed to, like uh, coal miners, for example. Here's some alveoli with the hemosiderin macrophages. Here's a blood vessel. And uh, here's the edge of a granuloma right here. Uh, there is nothing diagnostic per se about finding little silicon particles. They don't have a characteristic appearance. However, you could take a section of lung and uh, assay it for the amount of total quantitative silicon. Or in some areas, which we will see in a couple cases from now, you can actually see little particles that don't quite look like the uh, uh, anthracotic particles or hemosiderin or melanin or bile or anything else. And those are uh, can be regarded as uh, having uh, silica, but uh, they're not really diagnostic in any means. All they are are granules that don't look like anything else. Chronic healed granulomatous disease secondary to overexposure to silica in other words, silicosis of the lungs. Thank you very much.